In this video, we are going to talk about what is odd and even trigonometric functions. So let us determine first the odd functions. The first one is sine negative x, that is negative sine x. And the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. Cosecant negative x, that is negative cosecant x. Next, we have tangent. Tangent negative x, that is negative tangent x. And the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So cotangent negative x is equal to negative cotangent x. So these are the odd functions. What about even functions? The even functions consist of cosine negative x, that is cosine x, and the reciprocal of cosine is second negative x, that is second x. Now, how can we apply this information? So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have cosine negative 45. Cosine is an even function. Therefore, if we have cosine negative 45, that is cosine 45 degrees. And cosine 45, that is square root of 2 over 2. And this will be our answer. What about number 2? Sine negative pi over 3. Sine is an odd function. Therefore, sine negative pi over 3, that is negative sine pi over 3. And we all know that pi over 3, that is 60 degrees. And sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. But if we have a negative sine, that is negative square root of 3 over 2. And this will be our answer. On number 3, we have tangent negative 3 pi over 4. Tangent is an odd function. Therefore, we have tangent negative 3 pi over 4. That is negative tangent 3 pi over 4. So let us convert 3 pi over 4 in degrees. That is 3 pi over 4 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. And we have 3 times 180 degrees over 4. So let's divide 180 by 4. That's 45 degrees. And 45 times 3, that is 135 degrees. So let's write negative tangent 135 degrees. 135 degrees is located in quadrant 2. And the reference angle in quadrant 2, that is 180 degrees, minus the given angle in quadrant 2, that is 135 degrees. 180 minus 135, that's 45 degrees. Degrees, and this will be the reference angle of 135 degrees. So let's have tangent 135, that is same as tangent 45 degrees in quadrant 2, that is negative 1. And we have negative sign. Therefore, negative times negative 1, that's positive 1. And this will be the answer. What about number 4? Cosecant negative pi pi over 6. Cosecant is an odd function. Therefore, we have cosecant negative pi pi over 6. That is negative cosecant pi pi over 6. So let us convert this one into degrees. That is 5 pi over 6 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. So let's cancel pi. And we have 5 times 180 degrees over 6. 180 divided by 6, that's 30 degrees. And 30 times 5 is 150 degrees. So let us write here, negative cosecant 150 degrees. And 150 degrees is located in quadrant 2. And the reference angle of 150 is 180 degrees minus 150, that's 30 degrees. And we all know that cosecant 
is the reciprocal of sine. So, sine 30 degrees in quadrant 2, that is 1 half. So, if we have the reciprocal, we are going to have negative 1 over sine 150 degrees. That is negative 1 over 1 half. So, that is 1 divided by 1 half, that is 2. And if we have a negative sign, that is negative 2. And this will be the value of cosecant negative pi pi over 6. On the last set of example, we have secant negative 11 pi over 6. Since secant is an even function, we are going to have secant negative 11 pi over 6. That is secant 11 pi over 6. And then, let us convert 11 pi over 6 into degrees. That is 11 pi over 6 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. So let us cancel pi. And we have 11 times 180 degrees divide by 6. 180 divided by 6, that is 30 degrees. And 30 degrees times 11 is 330 degrees. Then let us simplify. So we have here second 330 degrees. We all know that 330 degrees is located in quadrant 4. And the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle which is 330 degrees that is 30 degrees and this will be the reference angle of 330 degrees and we all know that second is equal to 1 over cosine so let us write second 330 degrees as 1 over cosine 330 degrees then Cosine 330 degrees in quadrant 4, that is 1 over square root of 3 over 2. So let us simplify. 1 times 2, that is 2 over square root of 3. And then let us rationalize by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root of 3. 2 multiplied by square root of 3, that is 2 square root of 3. And then square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. And this will be our answer. On number 6, we have tangent negative 2 pi over 3. Since tangent is an add function, we are going to have tangent negative 2 pi over 3, that is negative tangent 2 pi over 3. And let us convert 2 pi over 3 into degrees. That is 2 pi over 3 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. So let us cancel pi. And we have 2 times 180 degrees over 3. 180 divided by 3, that is 60. And 60 times 2 is 120 degrees. So let us have here negative tangent 120 degrees. And we all know that tangent is sine 120 degrees over cosine 120 degrees. Since 120 is located in quadrant 2, and the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 180 degrees minus the given angle, which is 120. 180 minus 120, that is 60 degrees. So let us simplify. So we have negative sine. Sine 120 degrees in quadrant 2, that is square root of 3 over 2. And then, cosine 120 degrees in quadrant 2, that is negative 1 half. So let us cancel 2. And then, negative divided by negative is positive. Square root of 3 divided by 1, that is square root of 3. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.